Have you ever pondered upon the concept of time, how we measure it and how we manipulate it? Time, it's a fascinating enigma, isn't it? An invisible yet omnipresent force that governs our lives. We've built our entire civilization around it, haven't we? We wake with it, work with it, sleep with it. It's TikTok's echo in the background of our existence. But we humans, we're an audacious lot. We've never been ones to simply accept the laws of nature. We like to tinker, to control, and time was no exception. We sought to govern it, to bend it to our will. And thus, we've created systems, rituals, and practices to help us manage it more effectively. One such practice is daylight saving time, a curious phenomenon that's much more than just setting our clocks forward or back. It's a testament to our relentless pursuit of control over time. So, let's delve into the intriguing history of daylight saving time. Our tale begins in the early 20th century, amidst the tumult of the First World War. In this turbulent time, as nations grappled with the sprawling conflict that was the Great War, an innovative concept was born, daylight saving time. This novel idea was not a product of scientific discovery or technological advancement, but rather a strategic response to the war's resource demands. In the thick of battle, conserving fuel became a priority for all the nations involved. The solution? Maximize the use of natural daylight and reduce the need for artificial light. Daylight saving time was first implemented by Germany and Austria in 1916. The concept was simple yet ingenious. By shifting clocks forward during the longer days of summer, people would wake up earlier in the morning when the sun was already up, thus reducing the need for artificial light in the early hours. This strategic move was aimed at conserving coal during wartime. The idea was that by extending daylight hours, factories could stay open longer and homes would need less energy for lighting in the evenings. It was a practical decision, born out of necessity, but its impact was far-reaching. Germany and Austria's decision to implement daylight saving time quickly caught the attention of other nations. Within a short span of time, other countries involved in the war, including the United Kingdom and France, followed suit. The introduction of daylight saving time was not without its challenges. It required a significant shift in people's routines and daily lives. But in an era defined by change and adaptation, this was just another adjustment to make. What started as a wartime strategy soon became a global phenomenon. The concept of daylight saving time transcended the boundaries of the war and found its way into the fabric of societies around the world. Little did they know this concept would spread globally and continue for more than a century. From its wartime origins, daylight saving time began to spread its wings. After the implementation in Germany and the United Kingdom during World War I, other countries quickly caught on to this ingenious concept. Across the Atlantic, the United States adopted daylight saving time in 1918, just a year after it was first introduced in Europe. The idea was to conserve fuel needed for electric power, a resource that was in high demand due to the war efforts. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing, and the act was met with resistance, leading to its repeal in 1919 after the war. But the seed had been sown. Individual states and cities continued to observe daylight saving time with no standardization, leading to a chaotic jumble of time zones. It wasn't until World War II that the US reinstated daylight saving time nationwide under the guise of wartime. Post-World War II, the world once again found itself in a state of flux. Many countries ceased using daylight saving time, including the US, where it was left up to individual states and cities to decide. This led to what was known as a time zone chaos. Then came the energy crisis of the 1970s. With oil prices skyrocketing, countries around the world were scrambling for ways to conserve energy. Daylight saving time once again presented itself as a solution. Many countries readopted it, including the US, which standardized the start and end dates through the Energy Policy Act of 1975. From its humble beginnings as a fuel-saving measure during war times, to its adoption, repeal and re-adoption by countries worldwide, daylight saving time has certainly had a roller coaster of a journey. The fluctuating adoption of daylight saving time reflects its controversial nature, yet its enduring presence is a testament to its unique role in our understanding and utilization of time.
As the world adjusted their clocks, the consequences of daylight saving time started to unfold. Now let's dive into the multifaceted impact of daylight saving time, or DST, on our lives. It's not all about longer evenings and the joy of an extra hour in bed in autumn. There's a whole host of effects, some beneficial, others not so much. Take energy consumption, for instance. The initial idea behind DST was energy conservation. By shifting the clock forward, we make better use of natural daylight, reducing the need for artificial light in the evening. But is it all sunshine and roses? Not exactly. Modern studies have shown that any energy saved from less lighting is negated or even outweighed by increased use of heating and air conditioning. So it seems the energy conservation argument is a bit of a grey area. Now let's touch on the physical health aspect. The disruption to our sleep patterns caused by the twice a year time shift can lead to short term health issues such as fatigue, a decrease in productivity and even an increase in traffic accidents due to drowsy driving. But it's not just about feeling groggy. Some research suggests a link between the springtime change and a temporary increase in heart attacks and strokes. The body, it seems, doesn't take too kindly to having its circadian rhythms messed with. On the mental well-being front, it's a mixed bag. For some, the extra hour of daylight can be a mood booster, encouraging outdoor activities and social interactions. Yet for others, the abrupt shift can trigger mental health issues, including seasonal affective disorder. So, while we may relish those long summer evenings, it's clear that the impact of daylight saving time is far from straightforward. It's a delicate balance, a dance between the sun and the clock, between the benefits of extended daylight and the potential risks to our health and energy efficiency. The impact of daylight saving time is as complex as time itself. As we journey through the 21st century, the debate around daylight saving time continues. It's a topic that divides nations, stirs up controversies and prompts countless discussions around the globe. On one side of the debate, you have those who champion the idea of DST. They argue that it saves energy by reducing the need for artificial lighting in the evening. They point to the additional daylight hours that encourage outdoor activities and improve public health. These advocates believe that the benefits far outweigh the minor inconvenience of adjusting our clocks twice a year. On the flip side, there are those who argue against DST. They contend that the energy savings are negligible at best, and that the disruption to our sleep patterns and daily routines can have serious health implications. They argue that in today's digital age, with its flexible work schedules and 24 7 lifestyles, the concept of DST is outdated and unnecessary. These debates have led some regions to rethink their stance on DST. For instance, Arizona and Hawaii in the United States and most of the territories in the Pacific and Asia have stopped observing DST. They have decided that the potential benefits do not justify the disruption. However, the practice of DST is still widely observed in many parts of the world, in North America, Europe and parts of Australia. The clocks are still set forward in spring and back in autumn. These regions believe that the tradition of DST holds value and relevance in their societies. As we move further into the 21st century, the future of DST remains uncertain. Will more regions abandon this practice or will it continue to be a significant part of our annual calendar? Only time will tell. Regardless of where you stand on the issue, one thing is clear. The concept of daylight saving time, born out of a desire to make the most of our daylight hours, has sparked lively debates and stirred deep emotions. Whether you love it or hate it, daylight saving time has left an undeniable mark on our history. Remembering which way to adjust your clocks for daylight saving time can be tricky, but a simple phrase can make it a breeze. Spring forward, fall back. It's a mnemonic that encapsulates the essence of DST adjustments. In spring, as the flowers bloom and days grow longer, we move our clocks forward by an hour. We spring forward. Then, as the leaves change color and the days grow shorter in fall, we fall back, moving our clocks back by an hour. With this easy to remember phrase, you'll never forget how to adjust your clocks for daylight saving time again. So as we continue to dance with the hands of time, let's make the most of every hour every minute and every second. In the end, daylight saving time is a testament to our relationship with time. 
It's a dance we've been doing for over a century, twirling with the hands of the clock, trying to seize control of the unstoppable. Like a sandcastle against the tide, we've built our lives around this idea of borrowed time. Daylight saving time is more than just an hour gained or lost. It's an embodiment of our collective struggle and triumph over time's relentless march. It's a reminder that time, in its infinite wisdom, is both our greatest adversary and our most precious ally. And so we adapt, we adjust our clocks, our routines, our sleep, because that's what we do. We evolve with time, not against it. We grow, we learn, we change, and in doing so, we shape the very fabric of our existence. Time waits for no one, but how we use it is entirely up to us. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey through time, through the dawn and evolution of daylight saving time, to its current status and impact on our lives. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. If you found this video enlightening, we'd love for you to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. Allow them too to grasp the essence of time and the role we play in shaping it. Yet, our journey doesn't end here. We invite you to delve deeper to join in on the conversation. Leave a comment below and share your thoughts on daylight saving time. Do you think it's a beneficial practice? Or is it an outdated concept? Perhaps you have a personal story or insight to share. We're eager to hear your voice in this dialogue. And if you found value in this video, if it sparked a curiosity or inspired a thought, we urge you to subscribe. We have a plethora of videos on various topics, all designed to motivate, inspire and feed your curiosity. So come evolve with us, shape your understanding and let's continue this dance with time together. Ooh.